Okay, so today uh, we're going to be looking at editing our video, which uh, we recorded yesterday. And I'll play through. And to show you the final result here, now, there we go. So I did some video recording the other day, and here's what I had put together. You're going to have uh, your videos edited with some titles. There actually is audio on the layer here if I unmute this. <laughs> nice way to blend um, from one clip to the other. So if I play this part here. here. Hopefully we won't have the same problem with your videos. And then we're going to have some credits at the end here. Alright, so I'm just going to start a new project um, and which I'll have you guys kind of do the same thing. And, and actually, though, before I do that, did everybody copy their files from the shared drive to your D drive? So if I'm talking a different language here, uh, I should be going to the shared drive. Um, multimedia video production is where we put all that stuff. And then um, AM, you'll have your group folder in there. All right. So maybe I'll just work with somebody's footage here today. Um, so I'll take Justin, Katie, and Alonzo's. I'm going to copy that and then go to my D drive and I will paste that into here. So that's what you guys should be doing as well if you haven't done that already. Um, copy your the, that footage from your shared drive to the D drive. Alright, so once we have the files copied then we're going to launch, and I'll just go, I'm going to start over here. So if we open up Adobe Premiere, and then we're going to do a new project, and let's call this Camera Operation. And we're going to browse to that folder that we just put all of our files in. Um, if you were working at home and you didn't have your drive partitioned, then um, then you could just put it to your C drive somewhere, assuming you have enough space there. So I'm going to select that folder so that all the assets are going to reside or stay within that folder. And then I'm going to press OK. All right. So now we're back to so what was the next thing we did when we edited our intro videos? Anybody remember after we create our project, Matt? All right, so we import it. And you might want to be in this assembly tab. That kind of gives you a lot of real estate over here as far as having a lot of room to put your files in. So I'm going to select assembly and then right click and import. And I will go to that D drive folder where all my files are. And so for this group, there was only two um, video clips there. All right, so continue to review a little bit. Um, if we double click on our clip, our video clip, we'll be able to open it in this source window. All right, so that's our raw footage. All right, Matt, you cut it. Yeah, all of you is what you're doing that. Somebody put this back in here. Yeah, yeah, see, I see. You. It's back in those, you know, How did we non destructively edit our clips? So, if we wanted to have our video starting here, which, which, what are we marking or what are, which button are we going to press? So, in our final rendered video, it's not going to have, we're masking out the other part. Anybody remember what tool we used? Joe? Mark in, all right? So 
if you want to just edit one of your clips, and again, this is kind of review from last week, uh, select Mark In. All right, you can always come back and change this later. All right, and then maybe I'll just come back. Uh, yeah. 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 So I'll mark out. And then what do we do to see the kind of rendered video? All right, we're going to drag this onto our timeline. So now we have open our program window. Uh, yeah. 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 Come back. What to do is have you take just two clips to start for our demo today. So right now I have auto shop and then I'll go to my car clip and I'll kind of do the same thing. So I'd like you to have two clips on your timeline. All right, so a couple things here that I, I'm seeing. Um, if you drag, when you drag your clip in, number one, you always want them to be next to it, all right? If you put it over it on these other layers, what's going to happen? Yeah, we'll see the thing that's on top instead of the thing underneath of it. So just like uh, in Photoshop, whatever is on the top is going to be kind of blocking out what's underneath of there. Um, another method you can do, which I was talking uh, Zach about, is to kind of not worry about that ordering there. You could also select the file, right-click it, and just select Insert, and it automatically puts it next to it on the timeline. So if you're getting a little stuck with the layer stacking there, um, you can do that Insert. Um, all right. Oh, also on the bottom here. So if these lines are basically representing the duration of your video clip, if you find that that's too small or too big, you're not you don't have in view what you want to be seeing there. This little thing on the bottom here is you're panning. So you can pan along the timeline. You can also by dragging it to the right, it's basically like zooming out on your timeline or dragging it to the left would zoom in. So I always like to see my full duration of the video in there. Um, so, you know, you can use your zoom to do that. All right. So now if we have two clips in here, I think the, next, the first thing we'll do is um, a little bit of color correction and your transitions. So if we go up to our, I believe, the editing preset. Um, actually, now we'll do... If, if you can click on the effects tab up here, this will get the majority of what we want here. So up on the top, these presets for our workspace. Now I'm switching from assembly to effects, and I'll go to video effects, color correction, and we'll just start with some basic brightness and contrast today. So once you have this, these, this effect visible, we're going to left click right on the icon here of brightness and contrast and drag it down onto the video clip that we want to apply some effects to. All right, so, all right, so the effect, if you see the little effects on your layer, that means it's applied, but then we need to go into there and do what's called the effect control. So I believe, do, 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 no, we'll stay there. We'll go to window, um, effect control, and that's going to bring up this palette. So that was window effect control. And now whatever effect you had applied, so in this case brightness and contrast, we can go in there and we can kind of adjust that. So now we're, I'm seeing that the video is actually, the color is changing when we're doing that. So if you did your white balance, then you shouldn't really have to do anything here. Otherwise, uh, you would have to change 